Welcome back to Counter's Core Play, Shining Force 2. My name is Bobby. I'm Kevandre. And last episode, we ran a bunch of really weird ass fanfiction from Lucas. Yeah, George Lucas official. Yeah. It was pretty awesome. We just did a couple of battles, you know. We had to get out of the town where Gash was trying to stop us. We went up here. We did this battle where Gash was trying to stop more of us. We got Jaro, who we're not going to use because I don't give a fuck. I like our team the way it is. And I went ahead. I A lot of the items that I had just sitting around like Mithra and all that stuff. I put the care of it and I bought more healing drops for everybody. It's the only thing you didn't see because I didn't need to waste your time on that. And now we're at Mound where this dude... Dude in white! Mr. White locked everybody in. Yeah. So now we go say what's up. Oh, Kevandre is being popular. No, I was just texting a friend to ask permission to have said their name on last episode. Uh, anyway. Oh, yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> this I'm, was your guy. Yeah. I'm only the gate of mouth. Devils are waiting inside. Be careful. Vicar Freya uses the gate key. He still doesn't look like a Freya. No, he doesn't look like a Vicar either. He does look like a Vicar. He looks exactly like a Vicar. What are you talking about? What the fuck? Yeah. This goat man? Yeah, goat man. Welcome, losers! Will you follow the example of the people of Mound and die without resistance? <laughs> no! I'm too late! I killed a lot of people. Now is a bad time to confess to that. I can never forgive myself. <laughs> Cactus, please let me fight with you. They must die. Freya the Vr has joined the force. Man, I would have never expected Freya to look like that. Yeah. That is a poor choice for a name. Cactus, Freya will be a great asset. Hey, fuck you! Cactus! Freya is right! They must die! But I like Karna. So do I. Now here's the thing. This battle is obviously meant to be fought with this asshole. Yeah. You didn't have until just now. Yeah. Let's see. He has only heal level 2 and some detox. And other than that, he's shit. Okay. When I was a kid, I used to always go through this battle with him, and it was t ten times tougher. Yeah. Okay. It needs me. We're not going to do that here. You're going to make egress and come back with a better team? Fuck yeah. That, that checks out. Make the egress. So now we just got to go back and forth. Blah, blah, blah. And then I can get to my egress. Well, well, well. Uh, it's to Will Smith again and getting jiggy with it. Tommy Lee Jones wasn't in that one. That was that was a uh, four up dude, right? Yes. All right, take a quick look. Kenneth Branagh. Yes, take a quick look at this map so you know what we're dealing with. You got these guys up here, followed by more of those guys, followed by more of those guys. Fucking golems over here. That guy. And then down south, there's not as many people. So my strategy has always been go kind of down south, party up right here, and just slowly start peeling them in. If hey. I were to party, I probably wouldn't go down south to do it. Well, then you are wrong, my good sir. There is a minimal amount of baked goods that I would be able to uh, indulge myself with. No, there isn't. Oh. More appropriately, we actually know how to bake shit down there and make good food. Baked goods? Yes. Because oh. we can actually just make good food in general. You people seem to have forgotten how in California. No. We're good. No. You're really I just not. I just know of people in oh. Tennessee oh, who honey. could use medicinal marijuana. And they're just like, I can't get that because it's illegal in all ways here. And I'm like, fuck you. Okay. You stupid steak. They totally can get it. And no. Just illegally? Yeah. Fucked up, man. It was illegal for most people here until just a few months ago. Not medicinally. Not medicinally, but who gives a shit? That's the important part. That's what I'm talking about. People who could use it for medi just, just play the game while we're talking. No, you, you no, no, because I'm not a bitch. 
trying to slam on the south because, oh no, you can't just get pot whenever you want. Really. I'm happy to slam on the south at all times. I do it all the time. Oh, You yeah. were there. That's true. I do it specifically to you. Yeah, you do. <laughs> and it's funny because, you know, I've lived out here in the west and you've never lived in the south, so I can just say definitively, yeah, south's better. If you say so. Yeah. You have nostalgia for the south. It doesn't count. I don't have nostalgia for the south. <laughs> I have the truth about the south. It isn't one of those, oh, I have fond memories of it when my, you know, was a boy. It's No, I've moved back and forth quite a bit. South is better. In some ways, maybe. In Most other ways. ways, not. Most ways. In the ways that count. You don't have 7-Eleven. You're right. We don't have 7-Eleven in Tennessee. Yeah. Because life is about better things. We actually have good food. We don't have pretty good food. We just don't have spicy food. In general, you have okay food and no spicy food. Bobby made some spicy food the other day. He went out of his way to, to make to what he calls spicy chicken. Yeah. But it's still not actually really spicy on his scale, apparently. No, it was about it was the good hot level, but not like extra, extra hot. He still shit fire, but it's not the, the, the one that he's looking for either. He's going to have to find a way to concentrate the spiciness even more into that chicken. Yes. I did not go close to that motherfucking chicken. <laughs> and I never will. It's okay. Because I would die. Probably. <sighs> okay. <sighs> and now we're good to go. Now we got Karna. Now we're good to go. So, why did uh, Astral replace Road in the tank? What? Why did Astral replace Road in the tank? Caravan. Oh, because now Road is just a part of the fighting force. That's he, stupid. He's got other stuff to do. Yeah, that's true. Astral doesn't do shit. Why doesn't he join the force? Because he's busy. He, he's mistrusted the police ever since they suspected him of killing the riddles all those years ago. Yeah. With his bad hip and he, he still caretakes the riddle house even though it's not inhabited by anybody right now. It's owned by a man who keeps the house for tax reasons even though nobody knows what those tax reasons might be. Yeah, just like that. Okay. I mean, it's all very clearly there in the subtext. I mean, how you could miss that, I have no idea. I've read Goblet of Fire a lot, you guys. That's kind of an understatement. Yeah, I did read it 50 times in one, su in one summer vacation. That's like me saying I, I re recreationally can't. watch porn. Technically true. Pretty much an understatement. Tentically true as well. Yes, that's uh, that, that also. <laughs> that went without saying. <laughs> <laughs> and then that was the leader and they all died. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> Why doesn't uh, Slade have a ninja star? Because ninja stars are mostly ineffective? Hey, they're unless they're made of tinfoil, then you can hit him no. into the steel wall. No! <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Shout out to Iron Fist. Fuck you, Iron Fist. <laughs> You're a shitty show. Yeah. You've never been made. That's true. But still, that was the best part, because I really appreciated them showing the truth about aluminum foil stars going into the wall. The truth of it. No. It's real. Bobby got so mad. I was very angry at that <laughs> show. I thought it was pretty lit. It was dumb as fuck. The rest of the show was fucking bad, though. So dumb. Yet. Sorry if my voice seems a little weaker. We recorded last episode just a, a few minutes ago, so if you if you watch that one, you understand. Yeah, there was lots of reading. Lots of reading out loud, and I, I did most of the talking throughout the episode. Yeah. And it was pretty <sighs> good. I'm not going to lie. That fanfic stuff has me sort of weirded out now. Because I don't read a whole lot of fanfic. I always thought it was just kind of, oh, okay, it's a thing. And no, people just go off the fucking walls with it. Yeah, not all of them are, are weird like that. In fact, not most of them are. Most of it's just like, Oh, I'm in love with this person, but I'm, I can't say anything. i got to be from afar. And, oh, I can't get to you. Well, see, to be fair, I only read romance fanfiction. 
Oh, okay. I like a lot of smut in my fanfiction. If it's not there, it's not worth it. I suppose that's fair. So, in my in my glory days of reading fanfiction, circa 2003-ish? Boom, got to soul. Uh, it was, it was right after Order of the Phoenix came out. I got really into fanfiction for Harry Potter. Yeah, I can understand that. So I'm in my bedroom when I'm a preteen or very early teen. I, at all times, with my, my lights off, reading fanfiction, like steamy romance Harry Ginny fanfiction, or Ron Hermione fanfiction. Right, you just cur- curled up with a uh, Harry Quinn romance novel, I understand. At one time, a Harry and Hermione fanfiction, and I got mad. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Though, the sex was hot. Um, anyway. Oh, okay. It was great. I liked the sex part, but the rest of it, ooh, I don't like that chip at all. For some reason. It was it, most people's it, favorite. No, it is not most people's favorite. You can go fuck yourself. It is some people's favorite. They are wrong. At the time, I remember it being most people's favorite. No, I don't ever remember that. Oh. I remember people who just casually watching the movies thinking, okay, so he's going to end up with her, right? And it's just like, no, he's going to end up with a redhead. And she's like, ah! And then they're like, okay, that's fine. But anyway, fuck you. So anyway. Strong opinions about Harry Potter. Have you met me? That's my whole thing! Yeah, I know. I also remember most people being pissed the fuck off when Harry did not end up with her money. They threw a fit. I don't remember anybody throwing a fit. I knew Burn them to the ground. Oh. Harry and Ginny is perfection. So you I cannot guess... beat it. I'm not saying it's the right thing, you cunt. I'm saying this is the way most people felt. They... Calm the fuck down. I, I, never, I never saw that. Miskit, are you fucking papering again? Yeah. Classic cat shenanigans. This is already a shambles. <sighs> anyway. So, uh, Bobby's wrong. <laughs> Nobody thought that. Yes, a whole bunch of people thought that. You're I, having repressed memories. I, yeah, I don't really remember that at all. I Most of the time it was Hermione and... If not Ginny, then Harry would... You know, not Hermione. But, um... I saw a few of Harry with Cho Changs. Sure. Yeah, bring her it's, back. it's awful, but sure... I, I kind of liked Ron and Luna too. Um, but see, Luna is my favorite. I fucking love her. I love her in the books. I love her in the movies. I love the chick that played her. Yeah. What's her name? I can find it. That's not the point. How do you not know all of the names of every character in those movies and the actors who played them? I'm really bad with names. Oh, me too. I don't even remember both of your name half the time. If I didn't have to email you or have it like set up as an email, I wouldn't fucking remember your name. Oh, I don't believe that. I, I'll, dude, you'd be Mr. Pitt. <laughs> See, now you laugh. Did did we tell that on the channel? Maybe. I think we did. About the Pib has spoken. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he used to be called Mr. Pib because he used to send out pictures like every time it was his birthday. He got tons of Mr. Pib. I don't All think that's how it started. And, no, but it helped. <laughs> so, Bobby used to work in the warehouse in Nashville yeah. that I worked with out of Sacramento. Yeah. I, I did all the customer service, entering orders and all that kind of shit. And I would call up a number over there that would go uh, to a loudspeaker in the warehouse in Nashville. And I would just be like, oh, the building order is printed or whatever. Right. Order for this customer is ready to go. Right, and then all of the uh, all of the the crabs in the in the, the warehouse crabs. would raise their claws to the sky <laughs> yeah. and scream, "The pib has spoken!" and then scuttle off to the aisles where they need to pull. Yeah. Um, I'm that's what I assume happened. You're not too far off. Um, but what I think originally happened is that Bobby's old manager said that he owed me something for pulling his ass out of the fire. And he's like, what kind of soda do you like? And I'm like, Mr. Pibb. So he sent uh, this girl that worked there that I did not know that he was dating. I just thought that they were co-workers. Um, yeah, it was a steamy little twist going on. I didn't know about it until Bobby moved here. Yeah. So they, they kept it under wraps pretty well. They did. They were told to. Anyway, <laughs> so she comes back to Sacramento because she moved all over the place for, you know, just oh a day in Philadelphia, a day in Nashville, whatever. Yeah. 
Uh, she comes in and just brings me a 12 pack of Mr. Pip, and I think that's when you people started calling me Mr. Pip. What you mean, you people? The warehouse people. Oh, yeah, that's probably right. Yeah, but then, like, for my birthday, everybody in my office knew how much I liked soda, so, so my birthday, this must have been 2014. Somewhere around there. I got so much fucking soda for my birthday. Like, hella bottles of Dr. Pepper and Mr. Pibb and fucking... All the knockoff brands of those two? No. Dr. Pepper and Mr. Pibb, and I think there was a couple Code Reds in there. Oh, yeah. But okay. it filled up the cubicle, basically. The cubicle desk, I should say. Yes. And uh, it was pretty lit. The soda all lasted about a week. Um, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and so I took a picture of that, and I sent it to people, and they're like, that is a lot of soda. And I'm like, yeah, it's gone. Um... Yeah. And all my coworkers wore false mustaches on that day. It was a good day. It was a great fucking birthday. I always have great birthdays at work. I get spoiled like crazy there. Last yeah, year they did a, a clue theme when, where when the guy on the, the corrugated machine, he, he cut out giant clue weapons out of out of uh, corrugated cardboard, basically. Yes. And like so there was a giant wrench and like a giant knife and they painted them. And, like, there were pictures everywhere. It's just like, oh, this is the conservatory. It was awesome! And they always do that for me. I love those guys. That's one of the reasons I don't plan on ever leaving this company. If, unless, like, Cactus Core becomes, like, number one, you know? Yeah. So I'm never leaving this company, basically. Yeah, that's a good way to <laughs> Unless we become popular, which that shit ain't happening. Yeah. Unless we get sponsored by Nintendo directly, that shit ain't happening. Yeah. We swear too much. That is very true. But again, Game Grumps can do some shit with them. Like, unveil the Shovel Knight amiibo, and then the other Shovel Knight amiibos that I don't think have come out yet. I need them. Yeah. Because there's one for King Knight, Spectre Knight, and Plague Knight coming out. Oh, nice. I need them. <laughs> I don't know what they do in Shovel Knight. But I need them anyway. Weak ass bitch. I'm Weak not, ass bitch! I'm not grinding you like I'm used to doing, so you keep fucking dying. Girl? Yeah, that's what I said. Can I just sell you too? Can I get lucky two times? Up on nope. that to get lucky. Uh, so the goat demon is our guy? Yeah. And he's gonna stay way back there. He does not get involved. Why didn't he have a portrait? Because he's not a big demon, he's just the boss of this battle. I like the goat demon. Yeah, he needs a portrait to be awesome. How about this? You draw the portrait, we'll put it in the game. I don't draw. I'm, you're the one who draws. Yeah, I know. See, it's a challenge because I know you won't do it. It'll be it, bad. It will be really bad. Tell you what, let's get up there and let's battle him first so you can get a better idea of what he looks like. And then we'll go from there. Does that make you happy? Where's my pen? I don't know. Why would I go over here? I thought that there was a pen 15 around here. No. Of course there's not. There's no pen 15 around here? No pen 15. Not a single one? No. Okay. Well, that explains a lot. <laughs> Peter Phoenix, Peter Phoenix, Peter Phoenix. There we go. Kill that little flying dude. I don't care for him. There's a Fiend 15. Yes. And it's a very impressive Fiend 15. Look at that wingspan. Hey, uh, kids, tell all your friends to write uh, Pen 15 on their hands. It's a club. <laughs> that's mean! I'm just telling you, that's, that's, that's junior high right there. Oh, yeah, okay. Circa, circa 2002, 2003. Mm. That's that good shit. Why did you say so? I loved middle school. Like, I don't know. I know a lot of people don't, but I had a good time. Well, I liked middle school once my voice changed. It did not uh, want to at first. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. He's just like crouching really fast. He's just teabagging. All the teabags. I like the picnic table. It's a giant pain in the ass here. I don't care for it. Oh my god. I mean, compared to the size of, like, the people, it's huge. Well, I mean, it would have to be, because they have to fit on those giant logs. Yeah. It's... it's so... 
We can fuck this guy up. Smack him around a bit. Smack him? Yeah, come on. I'm on the big I still didn't watch that show yet. <gasps> Get him. No! Damn you, death. It needs to happen more often. I know it doesn't happen on bosses, but come on. It, I think it can actually happen on one boss. Rip Koopa. But I can't remember which one. Koopa is still. Yeah, that happens, I don't care. Fuck this guy up. Koopa's made to die. He took out the little sorcerer dude, and he did his job. Hit him from there. So, kill him. Your head explode. Yeah, maximum explosion time. But yeah, as you can probably tell, the battles are getting a good deal tougher. We're facing a lot stronger enemies. There's a lot more of them. It's entire spaces, so we have less room to sort of like dodge and move around. So, this is about where the game really starts to pick up its difficulty level, and I appreciate it. It get good. It's always been good. No. Oh. It just gets difficult. You just gotta cross your eyes a bit. Yeah, they start getting a lot more critical hits and dodges. Maybe not dodges, they seem really dodged during the first bit of this game. They're usually not Do that they high. dodge in the caravan? Yes. Fuck you for that one. <laughs> I gave him a good face. It was a great face. If you guys ever get into an ugly face contest with Commandre, like if we do like a Snapchat or whatever, you're gonna lose. Rude? <laughs> like, I'm just saying, you can do a really good ugly face. True enough. You know, you guys all have that one, like, brand you like, normally just, like, plain looking, or even when you're kind of on the pretty side, and then they can pull an ugly face that just makes you go, <laughs> I just, what the fuck was that? Yeah. Was, you just start <laughs> sucking their dick, what the fuck? <laughs> No, that's you trying to if throw If you're gonna grapefruit your man, you gotta you gotta tell him to blindfold, and you gotta suck his dick. You gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> that's such a great YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> that's such a great YouTube. Oh, you're so she was so into it. She got so into that shit. It was crazy. I loved it. Now you said you're gonna suck his dick, so you gotta do it. Yeah, you got You gotta hold to your work. You just gotta suck his dick. And you gotta do the what the, the sound. Yeah, yeah, just do it over the microphone. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We got some we got some webbing on the microphone, so we can't do that, but still. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fuck up on the microphone. <laughs> True enough. If we had one of those little foam covers, I'd probably do it on that. We could just get a new one. They're like two bucks. Foam covers? Yeah, yes. little foam covers. Yeah, like the whoop. Yeah. So it doesn't go. I'm not close enough. To, for that to have mattered, but still. Yeah. Uh, oh, got him. The pops. Pop it like it's hot. Yeah. Now you get the proper pop filter that can sit in front of it, but then you get little phone covers that also help with like wind and all that stuff, so you don't get a phone when you're talking into it. The fan above us isn't enough, but you know when the singer. It does make a difference. I can tell the difference when the fan is on or off when we're recording. Oh. But it's not it's not a, a big enough difference that I give a fuck about it to actually turn it off every time we record. Well, that's fair. But you know how some singers have to get really close to the microphone? Yeah. And you can add a little foam covering on it so that way a lot of their breath doesn't hit the mic. Oh shit. Rude? Yeah. It wasn't that strong though because Peter's Phoenix and that was fire. Yes. Hooked on Monkey Phoenix. That was such a bad episode. It's the worst one. I'm not sure if it's the worst one. Yeah. It's it's, it's, it's definitely in my bottom No, five. you're right, you're right. It's the second worst one. Britney Spears one is the worst one. That one's really fucking bad. We've talked about this before. Yes. You you don't like the Jacophosaurus at all. I think it's annoying, but not that bad. I also didn't hate Jar Jar Binks, so I don't know. It's like it's it's not like He's my favorite character or anything, but I think that the hate for him is overblown. I think it's fully justified. The amount of it? Oh, yes. Yeah. I think it's a little much. The amount and intensity. It's like the same thing with the Ben Affleck back tattoo thing that's going on right now. Like, it's, he got a, a big back tattoo, 
and people are making fun of it because it's bad, but I don't really think it's all that bad. Like, it's not good. He can afford to get a much better back tattoo. Okay. But I think it's perfectly acceptable for someone who couldn't afford to get a really good back tattoo. Like, is it an actual tattoo? Or yeah. Or a movie? It, he said it was for a movie, but it doesn't appear to be. It appears to be real. Like, Matt Damon's just like, yeah, I'm not one to, uh, to, to judge a man for his artistic choices, but... People giving him hella shit. I'm like, that's really not that bad, but okay. Well, they have those tattoo guys that are actually made to be removed, and they just come off in like one treatment. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if you need it to look good and you're, it's a big budget movie, you could get away with doing that. Hey, if it does turn out to be, you know, just that, then, you know, fine. But, I shrug. Hashtag struggle. O overall, I just think that the hate is overblown and people are just hating him for no reason. Because it's been awful. Uh, maybe just because he's a celebrity. People love to hate famous. Yeah, that kind of drives me crazy. Like, if they're a re actually shitty celebrity, then fine. But, Sorry. like, come on now. Look at you, Mel Gibson. Yeah, good point. Shit. Yeah. The the Kazen Wizio died. That's okay, he was out of MP anyways. <laughs> Shit, fuck that guy. Yeah. Maybe. He got a couple of kills in with the death thing. Oh. Awesome. He used sheer cold. Yes. Code of coldness. Shout outs to Frost Majors. All three of you. You trying to tell me that there's only three Frost Majors? <laughs> I've been saying that for a long time. Frost Majors were really hard to come by. And then they did some tweaking, and then everybody was a Frost Mage. And then they were hard to come by again. Cataclysm changed everything for the better in regards to classes. Um, and I, I started my Frost Mage after that, and I would have chosen Frost anyway, just because I like ice. But um, ice, ice baby. Yeah. But I, I super did Frost Mage, and that was my first end level character. Even though I'd been playing WoW, kind of on and off since vanilla, I never got so into it that I got to end level. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I get to like level thirty with a character, get bored, start a new one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which is what most people do on WoW. Cataclysm made it so much nicer to actually get to end level. And people talk shit and I want to slap them. But, um, anyway. I love Cataclysm. Yeah. That's fair. Anyway, my Frostmage was great. He's not my favorite anymore. My, my, uh, Fury Warrior is. Though he was arms up until, like, five levels before the, the max level. Oh. But I swapped over just because I was like, fuck it. I was usually a rogue paladin combo. Paladin's so boring. They were really boring, but you could level up and grind with them. Yeah. To no end. And I really They're liked ridiculously them. good. Like if I'm if I'm doing Dungeon Finder, I'm glad to find a paladin as my tank, not as my healer. Fuck that shit. Yeah. Fuck trees too. Dude, fuck trees. Hey, for a while, trees were awesome. If you are a tree and you are my, my healer in my, my dungeon finder group, I am sad that you were there. Except at the very end level shit when you're actually good. Yeah. Give me shaman. Give me priest. I'm happy. Give me monk, too, if you know what you're doing. It's hard to know what you're doing with a monk. I can never get the thing down for them. But God forbid... You're leveling your regular character, you're doing your dungeon finder shit, you get to level 55, all of a sudden you start seeing brand new death knights as your tank. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I remember that. It's still in, you know. Especially when they first came out, everybody was a death knight. No, still now. Still now. You go through, you level up, you get to 55, you start getting to level 55 dungeons. Fuck that shit. Yeah. I want to play WoW. No. Garrison's making me, like, want to play WoW, because he keeps tagging me in, in stuff for the new expansion. I'm like, uh, you. you broke your addiction. You've moved on. No, I want to go back. No, that's bad. Bad addict. <laughs> <laughs> bad addict? Yes. I don't know that I would ever say that I was actually ad addicted to WoW at any point. Of course you wouldn't. Addicts never do. Eh. Not until they're no longer addicts. See, I'm no longer an addict. Nah, you're in withdrawals. It counts. 
It's been a while. There may be some survivors somewhere. Oh, oh. shit. Getting stoned? Yeah. Do not touch my rock! Okay, I guess that's the voice we're going with it. Did you defeat all those devils? I was wondering why it became quiet so suddenly. That character is a robot. That's a great voice choice. Are you a survivor? Are you from Mound? What's your name? What's your name, man? I am Zink, I'm not from Mound. <laughs> I am Zink, I'm not from Mound. Then where are you from? The past, the past. What do you mean? <laughs> I cannot explain. I am what I am. That is all that I am. Wow. Yeah. I've never seen anyone like you. Where are the people of Mound? Were there any survivors? I don't like that. Yeah, there we go. He's got a little, like, face shield thing for his face. Some. <laughs> That's good news. And where are they? Down here. Follow me. All the robots from the past singing. Yeah. yeah. Cactus, hurry! Follow Zink! Zink knows where they're hiding! He's my, made of Zink. My throat hurts. Fuck. <laughs> <coughs> and Mountain is an interesting place. As we go down here, it's like, hey, what's up? How's it going? What's up, Woody? Puck a lot of bend and dust. Rude. Yeah, that happens. And all the little barrels to search. I love it. The barrel. I don't think there's anything in a single one of these barrels. I know I'm probably wrong, <sighs> but I don't remember anything of importance being in here. All about that face. About that face. And I'm not going to talk to everybody because I know they don't provide any good details. Pretty much just, hey, we survived. <laughs> just walking on the bed. Yeah. We survived this terrible ordeal. It was a terrible ordeal. Thank you. Oh, go away. Thank you. Hey, Shotty. Well, you're not from Bacalon, are you? We're from Grand Seal, Mr. Gian. Grand Seal? I've never heard of it. It's near Ribble from South Parmesia. Near my home? Are you sure? We built it, sir. <laughs> we settled there just over a year ago. The block tunnel is open now. Yeah. <laughs> Ow, that voice hurts. <laughs> yes, now you can go back home. I've been waiting for this day. Goodbye. Peace out. <laughs> By the way, why did you come to North Parmesia? To defeat devils? That's what we do. Really? We don't want another tragedy like Mound. We're going to Grand's Island to kill the King of the Devils. Hmm. I can't go back now. But your family. I know. I'll miss them. But I believe they'll understand. Let me go with you. Man, that, that one kind of hurts. Gyan the Gilded? Yeah. Gladiator. I figured. Or Gilded Tourist. That is what uh, Jaha would have become if we didn't use the thing. He's a Gilded Tourist. Yeah. That's it. Ah, fucking hell. There we go. We got an angel. Hey, Shadi. Alright, so, I think we were supposed to have a thing down there and then talk to him, but we got him first. Oh, okay. So, that's how that worked. She painted? Oh, hello. Oh, you're cute. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> may I paint your portrait? Yeah, hey, go for it. Excellent. Then would you stand over there in front of the flowers? Yeah, let's do this. You guys get to see what Say I Say fuzzy pickles. Do you guys get to see what Cactus looks like? Finish! That was really fast, damn. What? There you go. What? 
Yeah. I don't think I expected that. Pretty, isn't it? He's got one tooth. It's you! Ah, how talented I am. Hmm? Yeah. I don't think that uh, that looked like Cactus at all. Pretty talented. She's pretty awesome. Hey, I mean, she. I'm glad that she's drawing her anime OC, but... Yeah. The devils were defeated. Is that true? I can go outside now! Yeah. Where did Zink go? Oh, okay. So you went to go talk to him and now he's back out here. That's right. It's okay, dude. I happen to overhear your conversations with Gim. I want to go to Grand's too. Now I'm in the closet too. They decide to take the Agent Solar Zink with them. I pull out my gun. There is no time to wait. All right. And you should revive your friends. Yeah, I'm gonna. The arm of Golem suddenly moved a little. Will you get rid of it? Yeah, it's weak to water and grass and fighting. All right, so there's an arm of Golem that can pop up, and you gotta sort of just go back and forth, and I want it. So we're gonna raise. Raise everybody. <sighs> I like that he says that they're exhausted, but he can re recall the soul. Yeah. Does your soul go away when you're exhausted? Probably. Oh. Do you have a soul when you're sleeping? These are the important questions, people. Now, normally, I would grind a bit and just try and level up to them and be like, yeah, okay, we're... Yeah, it's gonna be good. But no, I gotta just keep making progress for the channel. That's right. Do it for the channel. Walk around here. There's people. There's things. There's a well. Go check in the well. Well, well, well. Just what to have we up. here? Sandy Claus, huh? Ooh, I'm really scared. Yeah. So you're the one everybody's talking about, huh? <laughs> you're joking. You're joking. I can't believe my eyes. You know I, I believe you should do a live reading of one of the Nightmare Before Christmas songs. Alright. Which one? I do not know. One of them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got followed on Twitter by some guy named Michael. Who the fuck is Michael? Shout out to Michael. Michael, who the fuck are you? Did you accidentally follow us? Probably. I can't see anybody doing it on purpose. Uh, he appears to be a real estate agent. Oh, boo! Hey, I'll take it. More followers? Uh, anyway. Whoa, I got lots of notifications. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, Twitter is popular. Well, not just Twitter. I'm just everything. I'm very popular. Not you. Fuck you. Hey. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. Jack's Lament. That's gonna be a good one. I'm trying to get this damn golem arm to appear. I can't remember exactly how I had to do so it. So I'm supposed to not sing it, I'm supposed to just read it. Yes. There are few who deny, at what I do I am the best, for my talents are renowned far and wide. When it comes to surprises in the moonlit night, I excel without ever even trying. It's not very dramatic reading, you're just being staccato about it. If Add I were to do the drama, I would just be saying it like he says it. Add drama. Add odd drama. With the slightest little effort of my ghost-like charms, I have seen grown men give out a screech. With the wave of my hand and a well-placed moan, I have swept the very bravest off their feet. Yet year after year, it's the same routine. And I grow so weary of the sound of screams. And I, Jack, the Pumpkin King, <laughs> have grown so tired of the same old thing. Oh, somewhere deep inside of these bones, an emptiness began to grow. There's something out there far from my home. A longing that I've never known. Captain Kirk is climbing a mountain. Why is he climbing a mountain? Very good input on that dramatic reading. I appreciate that. I'm a master of fright and a demon of light. And I'll scare you right out of your pants. 
to a guy in Kentucky. I'm Mr. Unlucky. And I'm known throughout England and France. And since I am dead, I can take off my head to recite Shakespearean quotations. No animal, no man can scream like I can with the fury of my recitations. Very nice. God but damn, who fucking... here would ever understand that the pumpkin king with the skeleton grin would tire of his crown if they only understood? He'd give it all up. If he could, if he only could. Oh, there's an empty place in my bones that calls out for something unknown. The fame and praise come year after year, does nothing for these empty tears. Do you know what I am saying? Yes, I know what you're saying. You don't have to keep saying it. Lies and slander, pies and salamander. I want to make sure I'm doing the right thing to get this golem on to appear. I'm fairly certain. <sighs> He is uh, doing some some quick googling. Yes. I wish I could do googling. You can. I've never googled. That's true. I've never seen a goog. I don't know what that is. A goog? Yeah. Whoa! You're a goog. Oh shit! Yeah. How about that? Destroyed me. So you're just trying to find this arm thing? Yeah. It will occasionally pop up. I see. Amazon wants me to read a Sean and McGuire book. I don't know who that is. Oh, I thought that you recommended them to me. Well, never mind, Charlie. That's okay. Circles, huh? Yeah. And you found it before? Oh, yeah. It's not just a myth? It's not just a myth. Do you need to move the truck? No. You don't need to move the truck. Sometimes, like the very first time I played it, I got really lucky and it was just there anyways. I see. But now I just gotta wait. It's gotta hatch like a Pokemon egg. You have to walk off of the screen, or does it just pop up? It does just pop up. I thought you had to walk off the screen. <laughs> Ow. That hurt. But apparently you don't. Bless your face. It's supposed to be able to just pop up. I'm like, hey, if you don't mind, can we do the thing? We're kind of recording here. Yeah, it's going to take ten hours to show up. Yeah, it's a bit much. So if you guys have fanfic that you want us to read, either that you found or that you've written, yeah, send it to us. Look, YouTube I, message, tweet it at us, whatever. It's got to be like a one shot though. Yeah, we're not gonna read like you know. 10, I can't. I can't do chapters. a chapter thing. I can't do you know thousands of words. But if you found a neat little one shot, preferably with lots of naughty stuff, mm -hmm. because well, that's what I'm about. Yeah, that's what I'm about too. I got the laptop, or sorry, I got the keyboard sitting on my waist, and I need to move that keyboard with not my hands or legs. So yes. send that in. He's talking about his junk, people. No, the junk's in the trash. He's talking about his meat whistle. That doesn't sound like it'd be a very good whistle. <laughs> it's not meant to be. Oh. Yeah. Showed you. So you don't make a high screeching sound when you blow it? Oh, shit! Yep, there it is. I don't like that. 
It's thing from Adam's family. Yeah. Cactus found the arm of Golem. There we go. Is that a, is that a party member? It will be a party member. Oh shit. The the Golem is a party member. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. He's incomplete without his he's arm. He's Exodia. We give him his arm, and he's like, I'm Golem. He has, I think, the worst movement in the game. Okay. Decent defense, but that's about it. But I want him, even though I'm never going to use him. So you guys just sat through that for my own music. Got it. Okay. Does this look familiar? Is it, a, is it a picture of Peter? It's the NASCAR lines. This is where we're going. Oh, NASCAR. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this episode's already 45 minutes. I know we said we're going to do two battles. We might need to pause it. All right. Uh, just so that way I can armor up. Don't want to do that on the channel. It's fine with me. Don't want to make it last five gajillion hours. Yeah, and this next battle is going to be kind of a long one. Because it's a huge fucking map. That's cool. And it's just desert. And so. we're just going to turn left, and then turn left, and then turn left. Yeah. Because it's the NASCAR lines. No. NASCAR lines. You can still just keep turning left as much as you want. Eventually you'll get it right. Space Nazis. Space Nazis. Mecha Hitler, 10,000 feet tall. That sneaks up on you. Yeah, then you just gotta turn into a rat and just, you know, bite off his ball. Yeah. Spoilers for last episode. <laughs> ah. Somebody's gonna watch this episode first. Some poor soul. Yeah. It's gonna be weird. And they're gonna be like, what the fuck are they talking about? Yeah. You gotta go back and watch the last one, you guys, because it was probably the best piece of anything that we've made. But no, Johnson Ping Machine Trauma Center is the best one. Yes. But this last Shining Force was really, really good. Very close. But alright guys, we're gonna call it here so that way I can up all my gear and then next time will be the Nazca Line battle. Where okay. we where we uh, spoiler alert, get a spaceship. What it's gonna be awesome. Cause once we get the spaceship, we go somewhere and we get very close to the end of the game. Nice. Yeah. So let's do our shout outs. I'm gonna do a shout out to an actor. Um, one that I only knew for one thing for a very, very long time. Okay. And then now he's suddenly in everything. So, uh, and that man's name is Michael McKean. Or Michael McKeon, I don't know how he pronounces it. But, uh, he played Mr. Green in Clue. Which is my favorite movie of all time. Yes. And then, but then he showed up in, uh, Better Call Saul as Chuck McGill. Uh, Saul's brother. And he's awesome in that show. He's a real cunt. But he plays that real well. Uh, we started following him on Twitter, and he's uh, apparently a meme lord. And I thought that he was way too old to be a meme lord, but <laughs> yeah, you know what? Whatever works, man. Um, he's he's got some great fucking tweets. I don't know if he himself is doing it. I don't see why he wouldn't be. Um, but he's also got like a cooking show kind of thing. Like he doesn't do the cooking part. It's kind of like Unwrapped, where he's just hosting and talking about shit that's happening. Oh, nice. Um, but I've seen it a few times. Um, I've, see, he shows up in all sorts of shit these days. Like, for a very long time, he was the guy from Clue that I didn't know. But, hey, you know what? Well, you do you, boo. You're still around, so proud of you. Yeah, obviously doing stuff. Yeah. How about you, sir? Uh, so my shout-out is going to go towards a odd little movie that I watched when I was a kid. And every now and again, I'll rewatch it. It's one of those odd, good comedies that... You just, oh, I feel like this today. Yeah. And you pop it in. It's called Johnny Dangerously. Yes. Um, it's an old Michael Keaton movie. So, you know, he's younger. And he plays just a mobster. Who, who got into the mob business to try and take care of his mom. No. And it's sweet. Hmm. And it's really funny. Okay. And it's more of just one of those like airplane kind of comedies okay not quite that slapstick right but it gets there like at one point they're running from the cops so they just start peeling off the paint on the car because it's wallpapered on and it goes from like black to white to yellow rubber duckies okay i should, I should watch the movie because why not <laughs> uh, that sounds great now i was thinking of something completely different wasn't there a movie that had uh, rowan atkinson as like a spy uh, yes. I, that's what I thought that you were doing a shout-out to. I don't think I've seen Johnny Dangerously. Um, I think it also did Johnny. Well, time for Google. Yeah, Google that, because now I'm confused. Johnny 
dangerous. Like Johnny Rowan Atkinson. Hmm, interesting. Okay, uh, Johnny Rowan Atkinson. Johnny English. Okay, there yeah, we that's go. That's it. That's what I'm thinking of. That was going to bug me. But yeah. So go check out that movie. It's not the Rowan Atkinson one. Yeah. It's... I really like it. And there are a few quotes that I say from it that I know you probably don't get. Yeah, I've never seen it, so... Yeah, so it's it's worth checking out. Nice. That's always fun, too. Like, when, when you say something a lot, and then, like, the person who hangs out with you knows that you say this a lot but then you watch the thing with them and they just like slowly turn their head to you right <laughs> that's that's my favorite i it happens with me a lot yeah it's like when i i made my wife watch uh freddie got fingered <laughs> happened several times during that movie yes <laughs> don't touch my shoulder don't touch my shoulder okay i saved the day anyway all right guys we are going to call it here for this one we will see you next time when we go to a spaceship i guess yes we're gonna go get a spaceship aliens yeah thank you so much guys goodbye bye